Hey guys, MTG new back. Opponent Melissa 6. That's a good start for us. Um, we're going to keep. We have this on 3, this on 4. This, if it ever gets good, even as a swine, is okay. He keeps at 5. A lot of islands in our midst. But we will try to figure out a solution to this problem. Okay, that guy does nothing. It's fine. He is black-red, so this guy might not be stellar. I like this guy, actually. He's pretty good. Even though he never turns sideways, he blocks like hell. Okay. I mean, I can make him a 1-2, but that's not really going to matter if he has Pillar of Flames. So... If he sticks, he sticks. If he dies, he dies. I'm okay with either one of these. Yep. Okay, next turn I'll just play the swine out. Would have been nice if he stuck. Okay, here comes the swine. Then we'll pass, and then next turn we'll probably play the forest mage. And suit them up together. Which makes him a little bit harder to kill, but still killable, I would say. Especially with that first strike. If he has, like, a trick. Okay, he is just getting land screwed for days. That's our nice little six drop. You know what, it might just be better to swing in here. Maybe we have to Righteous Blow if he's got a removal spell, which I don't think he does. He might just have to trade here. Okay, he goes to 7. And then we'll just play Halgeist. And that will most likely seal the deal. Unless he's got something crazy. Like a third land and something good. Yep, alright, so... That was a quick one, but that was more or less because he ended up mulling to five that we were able to get there. Um, I don't like playing blue against red and black, so I'm going to load up the other deck, which gives us more options. In a sense that we have our own little removal. We have more guys, we have a few more tricks, and this is much better. So, let's try this. Okay, this is, once again, short on white sources. Um, this is like the same hand we had last time. Alright, I'm going to assume we're going to draw into a white source eventually. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but, you know, at least at four mana we can play other things that aren't necessarily white, like a striker. Um, no, I'm not going to miracle that. I mean, five to the head is fine, and maybe I'll never get to cast it, but unless he's stuck on mana, I think we're fine. All right, so white source is good here. Let's try to pair these guys. Say okay to both. Say yes. Click on him and probably should have left the green up because there's nothing in red other than Pillar of Flames that um, is good mana wise. Okay, I hope. Okay, is green. That guy is very annoying. But. As a shade, he's a shade, so he's probably gonna block. So, do I want to spend my turn striking or trampling over for some damage? Is the question. I can't remove it, but I can tap it. Um, I think it's okay to strike it, and I would assume he's gonna block, and then it'll come back as a 2 2, and then I could just spend some time striking it. Okay. This 
will help us kill his guy, although it undies. Which is a little annoying. But nonetheless, I guess we're doing okay. He's still at 15. Xerm will probably play this guy out. Might deter us from going crazy with the swing. Alright, um, that guy's a zombie, so we gotta hope this guy survives. He might not. But a man can hope, right? Okay, and that will grow, but we're just going to pass the turn. And if we can't kill this, we'll thunderous wrath it. What we got to hope is he doesn't put, like, lightning prowess on this and then kill this and go to town. Town is a good place to go. Yeah, we'll be taking five. I have to assume that or three, excuse me. I have to assume that Okay both of these things are bad. Um, I guess we just play a land and pass, seeing what he wants to do with his attacks. I can't straight up kill this, and it's going to draw him a ton of cards, but I can tap it down a bunch. Okay, guess he's going to bind it here, which is fine. I'll also draw a card. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample is pretty good. I think we have enough life where I could actually take 8 and not be very behind, even if he wants to swing with this. I'm going to let him come with his 8-8. Eight, eight. Take 8. I mean, I could block and Thunderous Wrath, but I don't think I want to do that. Alright, this goes by. So we'll get rid of one of our problems. 3-5. Okay, Mad Prophet. He's pretty good. So we'll Mad Prophet here. Play him, and we'll say yes to this. Um, and then I guess we'll dig with the Mad Prophet, and we will chuck this forest. And we draw another one of those, which is good. This guy will die, this guy will die. I think we just passed the turn. Okay, that's pretty frustrating. He's just drawing a lot of cards based off of this, which we might have to eventually deal with. Um, we'll tap this. If he wants to get in with the shade, that's fine. I mean, having two tappers is very nice. I actually hope, I hope he swings with the shade and then pumps it out. Then we could Thunderous Wrath it. Okay, that's fine. We're tapped out. Yep, make the shade big. Okay. Shade gets huge. Got it. Check. We're at 14. This is the worst draw. On Earth. Alright. Um, this guy's pretty good. I still don't want to lose. Because this guy is very good. Uh, I think we got a Thunderous Wrath this year.
kill this. And we'll pass. We're not going to swing here. This guy just sits in the way of most of our guys. So we're probably going to be blocking to some extent here. If he swings bear, I block both. If he just swings 8-8, eight, eight, that's fine. I guess we'll go to 6. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, he played nothing. That's a little bit weird. Um, we want to keep open pretty much all of our mana. And we don't want to get owned by the 8-8. Eight, eight. So, let's consider our options. I think this... This goes... This guy can't block. Okay, and then... I guess we'll swing... Two here. And then he'll block with the defender, and then we'll righteous blow the defender. And we could have considered swing with that as well, but I think we want some blockers back just in case. And he can't get too greedy with his attacks, especially if he's not drawing anything. So. Uh, that guy's annoying. I mean, not being able to kill this as a 6-6 six, six is a little bit frustrating. Because if it was a 5-5, five, five, we could have just killed him. Okay, he plays a land. We're going to tap, tap. Consider swinging team. So tap. See if he wants to swing with the 5-5. Five, five. I highly doubt it. Uh, it's a pretty good dude. I mean, play. Blocker. Tap down bear. Swing in for eight have back this guy is a blocker I don't really like that plan hmm yeah I think we gotta make two of the justices we might want to consider chucking that Halgeist at this point because he's not amazing That's fine. He's getting uh, to draw some cards. Okay, it's not so fine for us. He's getting to draw more cards. And now his army is considerably bigger than ours. I'll tap the 8-8. Eight, eight. And we'll be chucking this Hal guys, I believe. I think we need to keep our mana open just to consider tapping guys as well. Okay, the bear comes in, which might actually give us an opportunity. Tap, tap. I only get in for eight. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna. I don't want to really take this. We died us so much then. But I can't really justify losing all of my guys. Alright, I'm gonna take this attack. 
go down to five six excuse me and I'm gonna get rid of this Halgeist and we'll see what we come up with land land alright I try to get rid of the demon try to get rid of the crypt keeper I swing for eight gaining potentially four this gets blocked so I hit him for six down to four I gain four go to ten he kills me so I think we're just at a point where I just discard a card um that guy's good not amazing still pretty good is it just a vanilla 7-7 seven, seven? I mean he stands in front of his whole team essentially but if he has a way to remove him I'm just dead so I think I'm just gonna pass the turn and then if he wants to swing with this I'll let him if not I'll, blo I'll throw these two guys away we gotta hope he doesn't hit um, a creature here. Make that guy go away, and we'll make this guy go away. And then we'll see what his attacks are. If he wants to swing with a 5 3, I might double block it. Let's see, what do I gain from double blocking it? I don't want to go to 1. I mean, let's see. If I take this and go to one, I assume he's got a pillar. Tap, tap, I get in for six. And I'm going to double block this. I guess at this point, we're playing for a longer game, so to speak. The only thing I could have done was triple block, which possibly isn't great okay we gained some life eh, it's definitely decent but I don't think it's as decent as having a giant guy I mean right now he's really doing nothing so we'll chuck this we need one more mana to really do anything. I mean to play this and that. Uh, I'm not going to swing. I guess I could safely play this out and then bind it. And then I'll still have one tapper. So I'll bind this and say yes. And then this way they're bound, and if he wants to swing, I'll still gain four life. I just don't like how this keeps drawing him into cards. Like, that's very good. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's a blocker. Gets him a land. Draws him a card. Okay, takes a forest. Assuming he'll play the forest and draw a card. Just gotta tap down the 8-8. This is our only real threat at the moment. And the Mad Prophet probably has to be used a little bit better as well because he's not being used as well as he could be. Like he shouldn't be tapped. But I'm trying to dig for land. Alright, so I have a choice of double blocking here. Losing two of my guys. Uh, it also makes this a 6-6 six, six, though. Since they're bound. I think I'm going to try that. Because even though we won't be able to lifelink the 7-7. Seven, seven, we'll make it so he doesn't hopefully have a an 8-8. Eight, eight. He'll have a 6-6 six, six again. 
Okay, so it's kind of a blowout. All right, but that was a pretty good draw. Is it going to kill him, though? Lightning Mauler, and this guy is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Swing everybody, probably not. Hmm. Why that? I think we just... I mean, if we can... get rid of... A, if we could just dig for a land and get a land, we might be fine. Or if I could get an angel. Okay, another swine is... I guess it's okay. Not really where I want to be. But I think it... at least chumps. And it discourages attacking to an extent. Okay, that's a good guy. But you're a ghoul. If it dies, he draws a card. Abundant growth on his land. So he's obviously digging for something. I don't know why he wouldn't human frailty one of these guys. These guys are really the only thing keeping me in the game at this point. I don't even like this block. It's a crappy block. Okay, I'll see what this is. Driver of the Dead. Okay, his deck's actually not bad. A plays out of forest, passes, mad prophet. Mad prophet goes away. Land? Jeez, man, really? I guess that's actually not terrible. It's not great, though. Okay, we'll pass. Okay, so we still have two guys that stand in the way, and then the wall is pretty good at blocking. It doesn't block the 5-5, five five, though. He's got nine cards, I assume. Okay, Peddler's good. Probably bind it to his driver. And he draws another card. Alright, so he's got a nice green black deck I have not seen any red so I assume the red might be for like bonfire or something of that nature I'll tap 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 and we'll tap 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 and we're just really behind I mean this getting in for one is fine Okay, so eaten by spiders. Yep. Okay, two, three, four, five, a million. Okay, that seems like a million. Or just nine. Okay. Seeing if that damn land was ever coming. Once again, I feel like probably could have tried to get that game a little bit better. I don't think playing these guys and stalling out is the right plan. Um, I think the Angel might be okay. We have really no way to interact with him, which is very unfortunate. I mean, is the Angel or a 7-7 seven, seven better? 7-7... Seven, seven. I think I'm going to go with the Angel. I think we'll try to run this one more time. See what happens here. 
just uh just would like to get in there <laughs> and play a good game of magic this is not happening at the moment try not to usually go o2 but let's see, I guess we kept somewhat of a loose hand. This hand sucks. It's again tapper. I mean, Righteous Blow kind of makes it okay. He mulls to six. We have Righteous Blow. We're a little bit behind on the clock. So we're going to speed this up. Oh, a Plains, you don't say. So like if we would have had Mountain and Slam Lightning Muller there, that would be good. Still have a planes. Now we have two planes. Okay, he's got a forest. Hey, we got a forest. Does nothing at the moment. But at least we're drawing our lands. He's got a forest. There we go. Mountain time. Um, I guess we want the 2-1. I mean, Lightning Muller can be soul bound, etc, etc. Is this just dead? Oh, don't tell me you have a wolfier avenger. And you sided into blue, apparently. Okay, and I'm just gonna die now, because that's pretty hard to beat. Uh, my only opportunity, I guess, was to play Thunderous Wrath there. I guess we could Lightning Mauler, tap this down. Can't really block and Righteous Blow. I would think he's going to know something's up. I'm not going to bind them since I'm probably using this to tap. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Going to let him attack with bear and then we'll block see what he wants to do and we'll attempt to righteous blow this and then we'll probably attempt to get blown out bear is so good oh god damn it unless he gets to draw a card unless he has double regen mana on this now Wow, this is our whole deck, guys. That's it. That's the deck. Gonna pass. Guess we're tapping the 5-5. Five five. Probably taking 4. <laughs> Two Holy Justice Rs, Rs. That is not good. Alright, we'll go to six already. Could you believe that? Uh, and more land. More land, you say? And I say... That is suck. Um, hmm. This kill this is the uh, other option. And then go to one... I think going to two is fine. Because whatever else option do we really have? Fleeting Distraction just blew us out there. This is the worst. Spent $24. At least maybe I'll get a Restoration Angel out of the deal. Swing away, sir. I'm not blocking. Pillar of Flames? Sure. Kill me? Sounds good. Play anything else? Got it. Double red. Thunderous Wrath? Sure. Seems good. Yep. Good game. How did I know that was happening? God. Alright, well, don't know if you're going to see the rest of the matches, because this has been an aberration of a release. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.